All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 20 minus two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. So I'm gonna first start by rewriting 20 as 19 plus one. So now I have two to the power of 19 plus one minus two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have two to the power of 19 plus one, and this is gonna equal two to the power of 19 times two to the power of one. Now I have this minus two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now from here, if I factor out two to the power of 19 from my left-hand side, I get two to the power of 19 times two to the power of one minus one is equal to 16 to the power of x. And two to the power of one minus one, that's simply equal to one. And anything times one is itself. So I have two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 16, that's the same thing as two to the power of four. So now I have two to the power of 19 is equal to two to the power of four to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of four to the power of x, that's gonna equal two to the power of four times x, which is also two to the power of four x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 19 is equal to four x. Now we have a simple equation here. All I have to do is divide both sides by four and I get x is equal to 19 over four. Now to check, my original equation was two to the power of 20 minus two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19, we already know that's 2 to the power of 19. So we get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of 19 over 4. Now 16, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 19 over 4. And these two 4s cancel out, so I get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 2 to the power of 19.